So the last go around, I took you into RV Site Builder. I had you do the demo. We clicked on the demo, and you were able to go out there and play around in the sandbox. And that's all great. And the first thing that I showed you was how to use the existing templates that are in place with RV Site Builder. The second thing I want to show you is what RV Site Builder can do for the do-it-yourselfer. This is the do-it-yourself template that I really like to use the most um, within RV Site Builder. Now the template that we played around with at first was great because I was able to go in and just play around with some stuff in there. Um, as you can see, I've got a ton in here of different um, websites that I've created. Either I've created them for my clients to give them an idea of what I'm looking at, or my BYOL party, which is Bring Your Own Laptop Party where I invite people in for a live class. Um, they're a lot of fun and it just gives a lot of energy to your business to be able to work with people who are in the same boat as you are. Um, so I'm going to take you through the BYOL party and show you how that works. Again, you can click here to start and um, or you can just take something that you've already worked on and click edit. Um, I'm going to take you right to start because I really like for you to see where everything begins. Um, we're going to name this project uh, BYOL2, let's say. Um, I'm not going to give it a title, a company, a slogan, a logo, or anything because we did that already. Now I want to show you how to make it work with the DIY um, do-it-yourself templates. Too many acronyms. <laughs> BYOL, DIY. Okay, so when we were in the sandbox, you remember we played with this template catalog up here. This time out of the box, I want to create my own template. And in order to do that, what I do is I click on that second tab, and it's going to ask me right off the bat, do I want to have a horizontal navigator style, which means my navigation buttons would be placed horizontally, or do I want a vertical style where they would be placed vertically up and down? I want to have a vertical style this time. I'm just going to click that and then I'm going to choose my website scheme colors. I'm just going to choose this basic black and every time I choose one I can go out and preview the results of it. So I can look in and say, oh yeah, I, I guess that works for me, okay. So I've got that and then I click generate. So once it goes through and it generates this, it's going to take me to the next step. So if I scroll up for you, you'll be able to see that now it's saying header style. Now again, you can go out and check with um, these tutorials that are already out there. Um, it's going to give you information about all of these, um, all of these steps. And I certainly encourage you to go ahead and look at all of those. They're just they're valuable information. Um, the next one I want to do is header style. Again, you want to talk to a graphic designer or if you're good with Publisher, you're good with Photoshop, you might want to look at that. It recommends this size 780 by 120 pixels. I'm just going to go in and I have some images that are already in place for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload those and I'll show you how to go about doing that. Um, it's very similar to what we did previously. Um, we wanted to upload some images so I just click on that green globe and it's going to take me out to browse through some of my files. So I know that I've got a header in here someplace and I'm just going to click on my header and upload. So it will go ahead and it will upload that image in there and I can preview it and then I just say insert. Now don't panic if it doesn't show all the way. I tend to make mine a little bigger than the recommended size so uh, I'm just going to hit center because I want to have this centered. Now another thing you can do to kind of make that image pop is you can choose color lines. You can either choose them by just strictly going out here and clicking on some colors or you can look at the, the HTML coded color and just go ahead and type that color in. So either way is perfectly fine. And then I can preview this at any point and see, you can see how these colors are up here and down below. It's just starting to take shape for me. So I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do, let me scroll over so you can see. 
Now, this is the part where I got kind of flubbed up. I like to hit Save, and then there's a button here that says Generate and go to Step 3. Don't hit that button necessarily until you've gone through all the different phases. So just hit Save for the time being. It's going to save your image and then go to Navigator Color, which is going to be next. Again, they have these video things that keep popping up. So I've got my header style in and now I want to go to my navigator color. So this is where I would choose the colors for my navigation buttons. Again, I'm pretty boring. I'm just going to choose this black. And I can preview my buttons to see what they look like. So when I go in here, I'm able to see this, these images here. So I like that. I'm going to stick with that. Again, you can play around with this. This is available in the free um, segment with um, RV Site Builder. I encourage you to go out there and check it out. So then just click Update Config. Now the next thing is Body Color. Body Color Website Background were the things that really threw me off. I didn't really understand <laughs> what the difference was. When I choose Body Color, I'm going to choose a really dark color just so you can see what it does. Um, I like to have this dark blue for Got Clicks. It's just the signature look for Got Clicks. Now, see all this stuff in here. This is the the back, the page color. This navy blue in here. I can change my table colors at any time. So it just kind of makes my tables pop a little bit um, when I go ahead and use this coloring. So I'm just going to stick with that. Again, I'm going to hit Update Config. And again, you can choose any color scheme you wish here. My website background, see I was like, well, what's the difference? Well, the difference is, let me choose this pattern here. And I'm going to choose this teal color because I really want you to be able to see what that means. Because I really didn't get it. I was like, well, what's the difference between the body background and this? Let me expand this page a little bit for you. So this dark blue back here is my my body color and then here is my web page color this teal color so that's what the difference is let me choose the navy blue that I normally use you can even choose um, a particular color if there's a, a color that you want that again you know the HTML coding of it um, you can go ahead and go and do that I'm just gonna hit update config here and then once I finish that the last thing I'm gonna choose is my footer color so my footer color just basically is the tail end of my web page. I'm going to choose a teal um, color so that I know that signifies the tail end of my page. So when I go in here and I scroll down to the bottom, see this? This piece right here, this long one, that's my footer. Okay, so I'm all set with that. And I, the footer is the last tab here. Now I can click on this Generate and go to Step 3.